Hi everyone, my name is Zach Childs and I'm a sophomore here at the University of Southern Maine. I'm a health science major and I plan on pursuing occupational therapy. I look forward to meeting all of you and learning a lot about the essentials of nursing research. So today I reviewed a scholarly article about uh, osteoarthritis and how it can be treated using two uh, dietary supplements. Those supplements are glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. The reason why we are looking to use these uh, supplements is because other options like NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory anti drugs, are uh, kind of unsafe to the cardiovascular system and also just not as effective as uh, you would want in treating the pain of osteoarthritis. So that is why they did a research study where 1,500 patients who all had knee pain due to oste osteoarthritis were placed randomly into five treatment groups. The first group receiving 1,500 milligrams of glucosamine per day. The second group receiving 1,200 milligrams of chondroitin sulfate per day. The third group receiving a combination of those two uh, supplements per day, a fourth group receiving uh, celecoxib, 200 milligrams of that per day, which is a different uh, drug, and the fifth group was a placebo group. Also, the patients were divided into two stratified groups, which were um, mild cases, 1,200 uh, patients that were mild cases of osteoarthritis, and also 350 uh, moderate to severe cases of osteoarthritis. From there, 24 weeks of testing was done on those patients, and the results, believe it or not, were actually quite insignificant. Um, all treatment groups were less than 10% more effective than the placebo group, so that's not a lot, but there was one subgroup, which was the moderate to severe patients who received a combination of glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate that actually had a 79.2% rate of response, which was in comparison to a 54.3% uh, rate of response to the placebo group. So that's 24 about 25% greater rate of response uh, to that combination of drugs for those moderate to severe cases. And among all of the treatment groups, um, there were not a lot of adverse effects, um, and most of them were mild, and they were scattered about evenly. So in the future, these findings might be used to prescribe those two drugs um, in combination to uh, patients who have moderate to severe osteoarthritis uh, compared to another option of treating osteoarthritis. And this certainly is a research study because it is a scientific way to improve the treatment of osteoarthritis and it is a quantitative study because numbers were used in the analysis and it was based on the percentage of rate of response. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.